Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since we've talked about Odie, my new piglet that I've had for about three and a half months now. Um, so today we're just gonna do a little update about how things have been. There's definitely been some challenges and also some amazing things. We love Odie so much, but let's face it, pigs are a major handful. So if you are considering a pet pig or you just wanna know the reality of what it's like to have one, then this is a great video for you to watch because I'm going to be totally honest with you guys about how it's been. And let me just say, they are not joking when people say that having a pig is like having a permanent toddler. Odie is about five and a half months now. Um, as you probably can see, he's definitely bigger than he was in my last video that I did of our one month update. Odie is incredibly smart. Training him different tricks and using buttons to communicate has been a breeze with him. Um, we had him started off with litter box training. Um, we just used like a plastic storage bin that we put AstroTurf on the bottom and he literally took just a couple of hours to realize that's where he needed to potty. Um, so potty training was very quick and then, careful of those teeth. And then um, once he started going outside more and more, he really preferred pottying out there more. And so now he is fully potty trained to go outside. He goes outside with the dogs. Um, and really he's maybe had one or two accidents and they were right by the back door. So he was trying to get back there, but obviously I just maybe didn't notice. Um, so he's doing fantastic with that. The training part is an absolute breeze with these guys. It's no joke that they are truly one of the smartest animals on the planet. However, as you can see, they're also extremely food driven, so that helps with the training. I would say the first month or two with Odie was really trying to get him to be less fearful. Piglets are extremely scared animals because they're prey animals, so rightfully so. So it was really about building that trust with him and now he is so much more confident. Um, I can pick him up now without screaming for the most part, but piglets really do hate to be picked up. So he does still scream and it will definitely blow your eardrums. And every single pig is going to be different personality wise. The pig that I had in my past was very gentle when he would take food from your hand. Odie is not, he's a lot more aggressive about it. So really I would say if you have small children, a piglet is probably not ideal, especially when they're walking around with snacks in the house. Um, Odie has bit my finger accidentally numerous times and they have pretty serious teeth. So it's definitely not ideal with small children. Luckily, my children are older, so they know how to deal with his antics. Um, so that has not been an issue for us. We also have made sure to not have any food scraps given to him at the dinner table. So that's been great because he hasn't been baking at least this far. Um, so that's definitely a top tip that I would recommend. Do not feed food scraps. Um, he knows that he also has to perform a trick before he gets his meals. So breakfast and dinner, he's got to spin or sit or do some combination of tricks in order to earn his meal. Right now, I'm just trying to keep him on camera. So he's getting his fair share of Cheerios right now. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you the tricks that we've been working on. Um, they're pretty much the same ones as my last video, but he has them down packed now. Sit, sit, good, spin, spin the other way. Good boy. This bump, this bump, no, down, this bump, there you go, down. Smoochies, good boy. Blow kisses, 
Low kisses. Low kisses. Low kisses. Low kisses, Odie. There you go. Good boy. All right, push the button. Give me a damn cheer. Good boy. Push the button. Push the button. Give me a damn cheer. Good boy, Odie. I've also been using the communication buttons to help him with going outside. Um, so he does do that as well. Um, we also have a really large deck in our backyard. So in order to get off the deck to go into the grass to go potty, we have stairs. So we bought him a large dog ramp and training him to do that was it took a little bit of work. It was definitely a slight ch challenge because he was scared of the ramp. I would say my biggest problems that I've been having with Odie so far is just his rudeness and his stubbornness. Um, it is no joke. And pigs will kind of bully you, honestly, if you don't lay down the law. Um, so I've had to be very stern with him and show him who's boss not give in to his bad behavior. For example, Odie will scream for food or sometimes scream for no reason. So I will have to ignore that and not reward that behavior. Um, pigs are also extremely routine animals. So if you're not able to stick by a routine and your schedule is all over the place, a pig is probably not a good pet for you at all. Um, luckily, I am home most of the time and I am a routine human being as it is, so it does work for me. Um, but if there's a morning that I want to sleep in, it doesn't really exist because I need to get up and take care of him or he is going to be a complete monster. Um, in the mornings, as soon as the sun rises, he knows it's time to get up. So as soon as he sees that first glimpse of light, he is up, he is pacing around the house, he is screaming, he is waiting for me to come downstairs and let him outside to go potty and then get his breakfast. Um, and it's, you know, he expects that routine every single day. If I was not able to provide that routine for him, my life would probably be a living hell. Um, I would be listening to a screaming pig and there would be no sleep or peace whatsoever. But like I said, thankfully it does work for me. I'm a mom as well, so I'm up every morning early getting my kids ready and all of my other 20 plus pets. The other amazing thing about Odie is that he has just gotten along so well with the other animals in my house. Um, and thankfully I have the sweetest dog as well. However, no matter how sweet of a dog you have, you should never leave a pig and a dog unintended. Unattended. Sorry. Um, because things can happen and it can turn out to be a really bad outcome. So it's just a risk that's just not worth it. Um, Odie does get free reign of the house when we are gone. However, trash can has to be up on the counter. He will, even despite his small size, he will knock the trash can over and he will eat everything in it. So we cannot leave the trash can down at all or any food within reach. Some of my favorite things about Odie is just, I mean, his personality. He is hilarious and has brought so much joy to our house, just listening to him walk around on his little hooves, tip tapping and oinking is hilarious. And it's just, it's so much fun. Odie is also the best snuggler in the entire world. He cuddles so hard. It is my favorite thing to just end my day on the couch with my pig cuddling. Um, it's just, it's an amazing thing. So I think my next plan. My next goals with Odie are to really continue to work on his behavior. Obviously, um, I'd really like to work on the screaming. The screaming is not fun, buddy. No, it's not. Um, and I really want to get him fully harness trained. We have done a little bit of work with that. However, he hates his harness. So I need to get him more and more used to that. I'd really like to 
bring him to, for example, my grandmother's old folks home. I feel like the seniors would absolutely get a total kick out of that. And I want to be able to just bring him more places. He does great in the car, but he needs to be harness trained. So continue working on that and the communication buttons and just his, his rudeness. We need to work on that a little bit, but he is a pig. It does come with the territory. All right, guys. Well, that's all that I have for this episode. I know it's a quick one. I just wanted to give you a brief update on Odie and let you know how things are going with him. I do have some longer episodes coming out probably the end of this week or next. Um, so be ready for some heavier topics. Um, and until then, you guys take care. And before you go, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do put out weekly pet care videos and I share a lot of care information and just overall lifestyle with 20 plus pets. Thank you all for being here and I'll catch you guys on the next one.